Welcome to September's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is partition labels. A string of lowercase English letters is given. We want to partition the string into as many parts as possible so that each letter appears in at most one part or one partition. We want to return a list of integers representing the size of these parts. Now, if you know anything about partitions, essentially what a partition does is divide up something large like a table or some sort of data structure into multiple parts and each partition must have something that's unique about it to differentiate itself from all of the partitions. So in this case, the partition is going to contain all the unique characters inside of our string. Here in this example, we can see that uh, this part is going to be one partition and that's going to be a size of nine. Oh, I should say up to here. After that, the rest will be from D, F all the way to E here. That's going to be the second partition. And the third will be here. All right. So they give us a couple hints or one hint. We want to use a greedy approach. So we can assume that we want to do this in one pass or O of N. And we want to use some sort of map. In this case, what they gave us is like a last map with one of the characters indicating the index number. So how could that help us? Well, let's start by creating this hash map and seeing what might that help us indicate. So let's call it last. And what we're going to do is for each character inside of string, we're going to match the last index number. And we can just do that by using enumerate here. And we'll take the index number and we'll make that the value with the character being the key. And this is just going to allow us to have the last index number be the key at the end. So let's first print out our hash map and see what this might help us indicate. What's our custom case? It's going to be this example. So how would this help us here? So we have all the characters and the last index number they appear in. So let's think about it. Let's start with when we start with A, we see that the last index number A appears in is going to be eight. So at the very least, the size of the partition has to be, uh, well, it's going to be nine because it's going to be at the index eight. So that's interesting. Uh, let's move on to the next character, B. Well, B is five, right? So we might think, okay, well, we can partition this into the size of five now. But we can't because we already have the letter A, right? So because of this letter A, this has to be at least a size of nine. So this B last index actually doesn't matter. Now, we move forward all the way, but now we have C. Um, and C is actually going to be less. So A is still 8. So basically, we continue our, um, our pass until we hit our max index number at each point. At every point, we're going to say, hey, this partition has to be at least up to this index number. And update that to the maximum 1 each time we introduce a new character. And once we hit the index number with the max length, then we know this can be a partition. Uh, once we do that, we can just start over. Say we start with, so this is going to be one partition, or at this one. Now we're at D. Now we just start over and say, all right, well, D, D has to go out at least until 14. Oh, E has to go all the way to 15. And we'll just continue on until we hit 15 then, since that will be our max. And once we hit that, that's going to be another partition. So we just need to append the size of all these arrays into some sort of output. Okay, so that helps. Um, let's see how we can do this. All we need to do is once we have our hash map, just go through our string. We'll enumerate it once again. And we need to initialize a couple variables here. First, we need the output, which is just going to be a list. Then we need the max index, because each time we need to uh, calculate what the max index is going to be. That's what a greedy approach is. So we'll have the max index, and we'll also indicate the size, the size of the array that we've been building up so far. So this is going to be an empty list. Uh, the max index will start with minus 1, and the size will start with 1 here. So what do we do? Well, first we need to indicate, all right, what's going to be our max index, right? So the max index is just going to be whatever the max is between max index and our value inside of our hash map. So whatever here is the maximum, store that. Now, if this index number equals the max index, then we know we hit the end of a partition. We could make this into a partition, right? So we will 
um, output the size of the array that we've been building up so far, and then we'll reinitialize that to one. Else, we will increase the size of our or our size and then just continue on. So once we finish that, we should have a list of all the sizes of each one of our partitions. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. Uh, looks like it's working, 978. So let's go ahead and submit that. And accepted. So this is a O of N time complexity. As far as the space complexity, it's going to be this hash map, right? And that's going to be a max size of 24, seeing as there's 24 characters. That's it. Um, this problem looks a lot harder at first, but once you start to, um, just kind of iterating and seeing uh, what could like a hash map help with, how would we implement a greedy approach, it becomes fairly easy. So that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.